This is the world's first graphic novel about speed cubing, and I read it, and I'm just gonna give my thoughts on it. So first of all, um, when I read it, I honestly really enjoyed just the story of it. Um, I think that it's really relatable for a lot of cubers. There's like, I don't know, like six or seven different kind of like stories intertwined and like covers almost every uh, situation. Basically almost every cuber, wherever you are in your journey, whether you're, you know, going for national champion or just kind of starting out, I think you can definitely relate to the book. Um, there's, you know, young cubers, old cubers, and I think that that's really great because when you can relate to something like that, then it's just more engaging. And something else that I didn't really realize about the book, but I think that's really cool, is that it really explains what speed cubing is, how to use a stack map timer, what competitions are like, and like just showing pictures about like how it is to compete, which obviously is pretty cool because it's like a fictional experience of an actual competition. So somebody who's maybe been cubing but's never been to a competition, you can really see the atmosphere and it really, you know, details what it's like to feel nervous at a competition, which all of us have felt um, at some point in our cubing careers. And I think something else that's pretty interesting about the book is that it actually like ties in a few messages about just, you know, like going to competition to have fun and uh, not really caring too much about winning because that can definitely drive you down a horrible hole which uh, definitely I've experienced before and uh, was present in the book and also just some challenging um, things that uh, people deal with uh, on a daily basis and just because it's a graphic novel doesn't mean that it's you know completely just you know happy all the time there's obviously conflicts within the characters and uh, with each other at the competitions. The whole time when I was reading the book, I was thinking about how this would be a pretty cool gift to give to my younger self at like age 9 or 10 when I was just getting into cubing because I had never really like been to a competition before that and if I had like read this book then I feel like it would just be super super interesting to me and it kind of caters to this community that's kind of interested in the getting faster in competitive Rubik's Cube solving, but hasn't really been like immersed in it before. So it's just, you know, another aspect of cubing that's now kind of um, fulfilled. And I think it's really interesting because, you know, we have things like this book, we have things like Max Park um, getting sponsored by Prime recently. And um, we have things like, now we have like live streams for many, many competitions, especially in the West Coast, hopefully. Uh, soon we can get them in the East Coast too, but just these live streams showing these major competitions and all of these things together are really taking a big step forward into um, the future of what speed cubing is going to be like in 10-20 years. Like will there be professional Rubik's Cube solvers for a living? Who knows honestly. But that, this is just a great step in that direction because I bet you that there's many kids picking up the graphic novel and just reading it as a graphic novel and then you know you get interested in the cubing and all these things it's kind of like when you read a graphic novel about I don't know like martial arts or sports I've definitely read those books uh, growing up and after that I was always interested in that sport because it's just kind of a natural thing so I think having this will definitely introduce many people to the world of speed cubing now it is a pretty simple graphic novel um, it's not too hard to read and you know it's lighthearted for the most part but I think that that's actually a good thing because more people will be able to enjoy it um, and nowadays a lot of speed cubers are much much younger than I know when I first started like eight years ago so like you know they mentioned this big cube brand and trying to get sponsored and things like that uh, but they just use different names for everybody and they kind of allude to certain um, people in the book in real life but obviously they changed the names and everything so I think that was pretty funny honestly overall I'm just impressed of how the book was able to tie all these things together like the informative part of speed cubing the you know the plot and the challenges and just you know the whole experience what it's like um, and just having a great story about um, these kids and adults who are speed cubing and all these speed cubers in the book all come from different you know diverse backgrounds and everything so I think that's also just a great thing 
Anyway, I got off on a bit of a tangent, but if you would like to purchase the book, head over to thecubicle.com and use discount code CLE at checkout for 5% off your order. Uh, that's the first time I'm actually saying this. I just got sponsored by them, so thank you, The Cubicle, really. And one last thing, I haven't said this in a while, but let's beat CubingTube to 3,000 subscribers. We are currently ahead by a little bit, but you know, let's beat her, uh, so hit that subscribe button.